There we go. All right. Record over here. Nothing wants to fucking work today. All right, that's cool. And start recording. This is a Pod Dealers Network podcast. What is TWS podcast uh, episode whatever? Who cares at this point? Oh. <laughs> the rants of the vindicated. It's my podcast. I do what I want to. People, listen. Word, is it still live? It's not working for me, Rich. I'm gonna keep going. I know I changed my voice at work. Bars on the radio. Oh, what is TWS podcast? Well, ready? I feel like the piano. Staring at my watch, and I'm feeling so new school. Suicide attempts. How many tries to take? Damn, 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 damn. Dogs better to have a rich pit than a broke German shepherd. Uh, she says she love me, won't leave me, won't ever let me go. But if you're thinking of leaving, you need to let me know. We better together than further apart. So I don't, don't go breaking, breaking my heart. heart. Uh, she says she love me, won't leave me, won't ever let me yes. go. But if you're thinking of leaving, you need to let me yes. know. We better together than further apart. So uh-huh. don't, don't go breaking my heart. Word up. I say I don't have you. I if I don't have you, I ain't going to do the Lil Wayne verse because I got Lil Wayne haters in the building tonight. But anyway, welcome to another episode of the What Is TWS podcast. As always, I'm your boy J. Flan representing the White Pants Society. And I got to start by thanking you, first and foremost, for taking whatever time out of your day to come chill with me, listen to my random ramblings, whatever it is I do here. Uh, you could be anywhere else in the world, but you're here with me. And I do greatly, greatly appreciate that. Uh, got some special guests with me this afternoon because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing for this episode. You know, it is what it is. Uh, but I do got to start with the Chef Elise report. Out of Pepe. Yes, sir, I am. Uh, and I don't have anything to report. Nothing whatsoever. Uh, there was a uh, there was a PTA meeting this week. Uh, I didn't go, but uh, her mom did send me pictures. I have a picture of the dude. I have a picture. I ain't going to put his name out there, but I got a picture of the dude. And um, yeah, if I see him in the street, you know. Something might pop off. Who knows? I got. I seen his dad too, and I feel like his dad. I could take him, so it's all good. So uh, I'm just pause, saying. nigga. <laughs> Jesus, you right. Pause, 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 pause. pause. Anyways, Ooh. I seen pops, and I feel like pops is not a threat. So you know, if I run into this little kid in, a, in an open area or something, he getting tripped. Something like it, it, something's gonna happen. It is what it is. But that's pretty much all I got for the Chef Elite report. Out of Pepe. That's a fact. Uh, yeah. So these niggas just interrupted my whole shit. So I guess y'all know that they here at this point. Uh, <laughs> it was Nick, no you way. You can't say shit like that and expect motherfuckers to be like, "What the fuck?" There was no way no we was gonna let that. Just like I said, I seen him and I could take him. Yeah, I could take him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just because I'm on your show, let me let me get my shit there together. There we go. I got yeah, feeling like- Lil themselves in the building. Whoa, whoa. Lil, Lil putting on her bow right now. I got six different colors too. <laughs> I don't even feel like I should introduce y'all. Niggas know they should know by now who the fuck you people are. Nah, man. You want to introduce I'm, yourselves? Your, your viewers don't even like us, man. They feel like <laughs> we ain't white enough for your for your fan base and shit. But that's they, cool, only, they only heard my voice once, and it was barely. Mm. We still doing this. We still. I'm still. <laughs> I just had to. I just had to. But nah, oh. uh, it's your girl Savagely Humble. Flame really dislikes me on the low, but it's cool. Uh, I'm still here, though. <laughs> now, Jose, it's a Hard Not Life podcast. Uh, here to disrupt my man's podcast, for sure. Absolutely. I'll be your boy, boy. Raw sash in a motherfucking building. My bad. I forgot. I'm not supposed to cuss for so much. Hey, so I got to save my cusses. For specific time frames and whatnot, so I be that person that they call raw sass. Uh, I'm here. I'm on the All On Table podcast. I am the host. Um, uh-uh. Yeah, Bye. yeah, yeah. Try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Savage, Savage, know that I, I I fuck with it. You know I fuck with you. Savage, I for y'all, for those, shit. for the people listening. This would be the person I call if one of you females step out of line. And I need a, a a woman to go whoop you another understand. woman's ass. I'm gonna holler at Savage yeah. real quick. Like, you can you do me a favor? I'll be with all the shits. Where we at? Where we gotta go? I catch flights. Hey, if raw ass though. I don't have no words for that. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. 
<laughs> Yo, Yo. I love I get around this cat. It's, it's the the, the youngest it's old crazy. nigga I ever met in my life. Yo, yo, I've been called that my whole life, so it ain't even about nothing. It is what the fuck it is. Since the I fact was, that you, uh, hold on, the fact that he said that, right? And every time you say your age, people be like, "That's it." <laughs> yeah. What do you yeah. mean? And I be sitting there waiting, them waiting for somebody to ask me how old I am, so they can realize <laughs> I'm older than you. It don't never That's happen. Crazy. Oh. I'm telling y'all, man. I was, I was like 14, <clears throat> and I was going in the liquor store, wasn't getting carded. I'm going in the bars, not getting carded. I'm going in clubs with grown folks, not getting carded. I've been like this my whole fucking life. I am the way I am. As playing so, uh, so coined. It is what it is. Hey, I gotta give you know. credit to say for that. And and <laughs> the good thing is, I fucked a lot of older bitches because I always looked older. So oh my worked God. in my advantage. Yeah. yeah, we needed to know that. Yeah, but no, but Flame. We, when people find out how old you are, and they go for real, it's it's the reactions of these two things. They find out how old he is, and they shock. Like, get the fuck out of here. They find out you older than him, and they really like, nah, son, get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> it's no way possible that you're older right. than this nigga. Yeah, that be the funniest part of the age shit. I be like, yo, these niggas really think he be fifty something when I be saying it too. Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> and he is. Yo, I literally on some bull, real shit. I really started getting grazed when I was like twenty one. Like myself, everybody in my generation, all the men in my generation, we all started getting a drop top around like twenty two. We all start going gray around twenty one. Like all of us, like that. It just was what the fuck it was. Like I like how bold niggas try to rough, find. We try to find creative ways to say that shit. Up, like, drop top. What the drop fuck top. Is a what the fuck top? is a drop top? We <laughs> all start getting drop top. They got acting like he was riding around. Y'all getting drop tops. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, oh, y'all was outside. Okay. <laughs> Lo and behold, he talking about these motherfucking horseshoes in their head. Let's see, man. It is what it is, man. I was That's George Jefferson shit. while he was George Jefferson. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Alright, well since I don't have shit to talk about <laughs> and I got y'all I got y'all two niggas with me. What y'all listening to right now? What what's everybody listening to? What you riding to at the moment? Oh. You know what's no telling. I was about to say the same thing. It all depends on how I feel. Um I might be in my R and B bag one day, I might be in my hip hop bag. I don't really got nothing specific that I really listen to. I just put on music based on how I feel for the most part. I I create playlists, man, and whatever's on that playlist, that's what I'm rocking out to. Every now and then I might listen to some new shit, but you already know a lot of the new shit I don't really rock with like that. So I'm just everywhere. Savage, you in the same boat? <clears throat> I'm pretty much in the same boat. It all depends on how I feel when I wake up in the morning. Cause um especially on my rise to work, my Snapchat be lit with music. So it all depends on what I'm what I'm on, how I'm feeling. Oh, you or you if, really be like having a whole concert in your fucking car on my every way to morning. Work. Like you you be you be too awake every fucking morning on your way to work. <laughs> so those mornings that you don't see me, just know I'm in the car like fuck life. <laughs> Today. Today is one of those days that I'm moving in slow motion. Now or um I'm in the kitchen cooking. That's a whole nother concert for you. You ain't no telling what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? But right now, honestly, um, Usher, Summer Walker, 21 Savage, Good Good has been on repeat like a motherfucker. Um, the beat is crazy. The song is you, fire. I can tell you what I listened to today that I ain't listened to in forever. That shit had me feeling real nostalgic, though. Oh, what's that? Motherfucker Sleepy Brown. That whole album was crazy. <laughs> I was in my because I forgot about the album. Some big boy shit came on. I'm like, damn, I ain't listening to Sleepy Brown in a minute. So I put the album on. I was rocking out to that shit today, chilling. Uh, that whole album. Go, it, that album is like the perfect mix of old school and new school. Like it's an older album at this point. That album came out like somewhere in the 2010s, but. It was like the perfect mix of old school and new school at that time. Like, that shit was bananas. And the boy voice is crazy. Mm, I'm not going to lie to you. You've never heard it. 
Yeah, I don't never, think I listen never to listened that. to Sleepy Brown outside of being on one of their songs. Yo, that that album, <laughs> that album is definitely underrated and underappreciated. I'm so, I, 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 His voice I is guarantee, crazy. Maybe not too humble, but I know for a fact if Flan put that album on, he gonna fuck with it. I guarantee it. You put and he you in love right now, so he really gonna fuck with it. Like, we ain't doing that. I don't know what you're talking about. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you put Sleepy Brown ahead of uh, CeeLo? Uh, ain't no way. I'm thinking about CeeLo albums, and I'm thinking about Sleepy Brown album. Now, I will say that CeeLo album he came out with, Fuck You On It, that joint was crazy. But I still think <laughs> that Sleepy Brown album was a little better. But Sleepy okay. CeeLo had some bangers on that. I, I can't remember the name of the album, but the joint that had um uh something. I see you crying around town with the girl I love. And I'm like, fuck, fuck you. you. That was my shit right there. Do, do, do. Yeah, Who did that album that got some shit on it, though. But <laughs> that album definitely got some shit on it for sure. But I definitely think the Sleepy Brown album <laughs> might have been a little bit better. Not by much. A little bit, of, little bit better, though. Man, if you if you vouch for it, I probably I give it a try. I give it. A, I feel like I gotta say pause for that. Pause, nigga. I, yeah. I don't even being yeah. around y'all niggas is just yeah. it's too hey, much yo, fucking I'm work. I'm telling you, you know? I it's was too much work. I was at work and he paused a white man and he looked at me like I was crazy. He like what? Yo, I, yo. I repeated what he said. Listen, I repeated what he said. He looked at me and said, "Yeah." I said, "No." Listen to what I said <laughs> and think about you saying it as a man. And he said it again, and I'm like, pause, yo. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's that's sound gay. He like, oh, no. I'm just telling no. you what it is. I said, oh, no, I've, okay. been, I've been at work, and these motherfuckers, the shit they be saying, I just be looking at them like, yo, y'all just out of pocket. <laughs> Nigga was like, yeah, like, because, you know, I was trying to get it out, so I was playing with it. I'm like, super Paul, <laughs> my nigga. Like, <laughs> wait a minute. Like, hey, Paul, so you repeating that me, shit, nigga. Pause, 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 pause. He looked at me like I was crazy. Like, nah, nigga, you, you all the way out of pocket, son. Like, the, so two nurses, they sitting there talking. So the chick was like, yeah, I thought you was going to go mess with her again. He was like, nah, because, you know, I ain't even, I ain't even played with it. Like. And it, for some reason, it was just real wet over there. And I'm like, yo, hey, yo. what's going on over there? Like, hey, yo. Hey, the funniest shit happened the other day. I was talking to somebody, and they, uh, the kids was in the background. And I don't even know what the little boy said. He said something. And the mom paused him. And he didn't understand the game, right. so he fr- he froze and was waiting for somebody to unpause him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yo. laughs> That's great. Oh, that's yeah. fucking great. Yeah. So, so, and I meant to, I meant to hit you up, Flan. So I'm watching, I'm watching. It is what it is, right? And Cam said the realest shit ever. And I'm saying this. I meant to hit you up because you felt some type of way that I hit you up about your episode where you was begging the Lord to let you to give you the strength to take it. Pause. Uh, Pause, nigga. <laughs> the nigga Cam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Flan definitely said that. <laughs> Plan definitely said that uh, the nigga was like, listen, if you old enough to understand, you old enough to be part of the pause game. It is what the fuck it is. Nobody gets no breaks. Like, you can't say out-of-pocket shit and expect a motherfucker to not hit you with an A-yo, a pause, or something. It, it is what the fuck it is, Plan. I, I, and you need to watch that show so you know what you're talking about. <laughs> He was out of pocket you seen when he the, said that shit, Flan. And I text you as soon as I heard that shit. Because you was out of sure pocket. did. Yeah, so if you wonder why I got the, I got a straight button ready on deck anytime I say something out of pocket, it's because I know if I don't, this nigga is going to text me within like 30 minutes of the album or the, the episode going up to let me know. I thought, you just going to do that, though? You just going to let dude say, if Willie feel good to you, like you just going to let him say that on your show? <laughs> yeah, that no, nah, that one right there was just out of pocket. Hey, <laughs> yo, listen. When I heard that one, I ain't gonna lie. I was a little mad though, like, cause you were just okay with that shit. Like that nigga was like, yeah, cause if Willie feel good to you, I'm in my, I'm in my car yelling, <laughs> pause, nigga, what? <laughs> hey, uh, shout to the homie Willie, man. That's my, that's my homie. Like, the League of Kings podcast. We, I think we like 
two episodes in or uh, episode should be dropping this week on Wednesday. I know y'all don't listen to it because it's boring. But uh, it's a good time. I told you to send me the link when y'all start so I can check it the fuck out. But did you send me the link? Nah, because this is what you do, Flame. That's what, what I do. It's what I do. Flame, but, uh, that was now, a behind the scenes and confident conversation. And you just put that on your episode. I hate what you. What I do? What I do? I said I do? that in confidence. Who said what in confidence? Oh, that, that the shit was born? <laughs> I thought we said that live on a on a live stream. We I could have sworn that shit. Did. I don't fucking know. I'm just talking shit. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you though. The fact that you said you the liveliest person on there it does make it skeptical to listen to. I ain't gonna lie to you, sir. I'm a I'm a very lively person and I'm fucking hilarious. Yeah, if but if so you myself. the most lively you might be a lively nigga. But if you the most liveliest nigga, holy Wait, shit. Wait, no. The nigga said, I am lively and hilarious, motherfucker. Fuck you, yeah. mean. I don't know about and the I, hilarious part, but. And what, that I heard, part, what I heard is that you you called me a nigga, or at least the poss- you opened the door to the possibility that I might be a nigga. So I'm going to go ahead and take that as a compliment. I appreciate it. Oh, that. shit. I <laughs> mean, you are black. Oh, word? That's- that's oh about shit! As far as the nigga part go, but I'm with you, son. <laughs> all <right. laughs> That's all you got. We see yeah, your skin uh, color. Yeah, we can tell. I mean, we don't know for sure if it's a tan or not. You do live in Texas, so that he yeah. might get you. We don't know, Paul. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, speaking mm-hmm. of that, I'm, I'm getting real sick and tired of motherfuckers talking about the temperature wherever they at. Niggas are talking about these 60, 70 degree shit. <laughs> Shut. The fuck up! It's still like ninety one. It's ninety one here, and it's a cold front. That's what the fuck is going on in Texas yeah. right now. I don't want to hear shit about your seventy so, degree weather. When I lived in Texas, right, it hit like seventy, sixty five. I'm watching motherfuckers yeah. put on scarves, right. thick ass scullies, and right. I, I'm out here with a hoodie. They looking at me like, "What the fuck is you doing?" I'm like, "Nigga, are you serious? Y'all, we all really freezing." In seventy-five degrees, sixty-degree weather, like this is no. Nah, that's the perfect hoodie weather. Right but now. on the flip side of that, when I was in Vermont, it was like forty-five, thirty. These niggas wearing shorts and Crocs. Yeah, that's, that's out of pocket. That's unnecessary. Yeah, they. I'm looking at them. They looking at yeah. me like I'm crazy. I got all my thermals. I'm a nigga. You know, we don't do too much cold. It's cold as shit. These they like oh. We don't put our jeans on until it, uh, the, the first snow hit. I'm like, yeah, fuck y'all. Jeans. <laughs> what? Yeah, fuck what y'all jeans. talking about. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what, what am I listening to right now to get back to that? Uh, I've been playing the, the Russ album a lot, that Santiago joint. That's a, uh, if you haven't listened to it, that's a dope-ass album. And then somebody recently just put me on to this dude, uh, Teddy Swims. It's a white dude with a bunch of tattoos and shit. The fu- he, somebody put me on to a dude. All right, here we go. Nigga. Here we go. All right, whatever. Yeah, the nigga name is just a pause itself. Like. Teddy swims. That's that's a pause moment for you. Yeah, exactly. Nigga, I swear to God, you the youngest old motherfucker I know. The most <laughs> juvenile nigga <laughs> on the planet. This nigga. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm with shit. you on this one, man. Like, who gives a fuck that the nigga name is Teddy Swims? Like, yeah. that just. Listen, I, I, I won't even say what, what's the bull name. Uh. Uh, Johnson. What? What's his first name? John Johnson. Oh, the wow. basketball yeah. player. I'm not saying that nigga nickname ever. That played for LA. Y'all know who I'm talking. Oh, about. Magic. All right. Yeah, I'm not you ever saying say that. that nigga nickname. You can't just say Magic and just don't say the Johnson. You just can't. <laughs> yeah, but if you say Magic, a motherfucker might know who you not know who you talking about. So you gotta say his whole name. Like that hey, nigga's name is just a fuck up. Like, <laughs> you need nah, to grow the fuck what up. You about. Nah, nah, fuck what you talking about, son. That nigga name is out of pocket. And I guarantee if he looking back on that shit, he like, damn, you know what? I was dead wrong for letting people call me that shit. Especially and all the grown ass men that was like, yo, what's up? Yeah, they was out of pocket too. Hey, wait, and Karma you were shaking that in. nigga hand, yeah. calling that nigga that shit. Karma got that nigga though. If they if right. there was a way for Not for Coma shit to come back nigga. on them, I'm saying though, if 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 you're gonna say something like that and you think any fate might ab- might absolutely come back on you because of it, that would be the one. That'd be how you have to. <laughs> right. That would be the one. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the one. You magic, I bet. See you. Uh, let's Never see you a magic down. trick on this shit. <clears throat> but, oh, right. but now nah, Teddy swims white boy with a bunch of tattoos, but real soulful. He like the male Amy Winehouse. Uh, 
Oh. So I'm 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 digging that album right now. I I do. We gotta stick together. My community gotta stick together. We gotta represent. Yo, I'm it's way it's way too many of us out there. So he told us about this one dude. Uh the the, the, I ain't gonna lie, the the boy music was he did too much Christmas shit that I wasn't really feeling. But the one the majority of his songs was actually pretty dope. What's the boy name again? We talking about novel? I think that was his name. Like he do a lot of Christmas shit. I wasn't really feeling the the Felice Navidad and all that bullshit. I listen, I went on Amazon and I just pulled up his music and it was like I was just I was just tapping on albums. Like let me just listen to I I'm the motherfucker that if I'm gonna listen to a motherfucker for the first time, I'll literally listen to their whole catalog in like a day. The shit that I fuck with, I come back to. And it was like, why am I listening to all this Felice Navidad, Dear St. Nick ass bullshit? Like, that shit was getting old real quick. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe I'm listening to the wrong motherfucker that I start finding, like, this shit worth listening to. I'm like, all right, I actually do kind of fuck with the ball music. Like, it is what it is. Novel was I do enjoy, I do, you know, like, people who can speak to some shit that I've been through, you know, where you. You know, imbibing a little too much because life ain't treating you right, whatever. Like I, that's that's the soundtrack for my life. So I, I fucks with it. But I wanted to on the Teddy Swim. I just, I feel like I can't say the nigga name. But on the uh, he not a nigga anyway. But uh, on the the, the the dude I was just talking about, the Amy Winehouse dude. I'm trying to figure out how to say this. That's not a uh, pause moment. <sighs> Fuck, I ain't no way to say. I'm just gonna have to pause myself. What's y'all top five white boys any genre? Pause, nigga. I I put a pause on that. I shouldn't have top. I shouldn't have five white boys that I would have. Top five white artists. I don't know about the top five white boys part. Like that right. was, that white was artists. Crazy go. Right there. It, uh, I'm talking about male artists though. Male artists. Uh gotta throw M in there for sure. Pause. Uh, <laughs> we really uh, doing this the whole why episode. Did you right. that? That's just good. Be quick. Be ridiculous. Don't, I don't guess uh, logic for sure. Um, so is he considered a white guy or? I consider him. White. I mean, if y'all want to look at him as a nigga, cool. That's on y'all. But I don't look at him as a nigga. I, I don't know. I just do they I, have a neutral? Here's how I look at it. If you a zebra, it all depends on what you look like as to how you're gonna be classified. It is what the fuck it is. Now we call the niggas zebras. All right, go ahead. Give me a logic and Eminem. Uh, even though people don't really rock with his music, I fuck with Yellow Wolf. Um, damn. Oh uh, shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's pretty much it for me. That's it. It is like what I, it is. The boy Jack Harlow, I, I mean, he's a cold, he's too much of a culture vulture for me to say I really rock with the boy, so I don't even listen to him. That that's is, just me. Shit is stupid. That nigga's is a culture vulture is. for sure, for sure, for sure. Like he just he sounds too much like Drake. Like if he if he could just find his own lane, it'd be. He's a right, fucking but. culture vulture, man. He leeches on to anything that's popping right now. Lil Nas was was going crazy and everybody talk about him in the news. Oh, let me get on a song with the nigga. Like, this is what he do. Like, he's a fucking culture vulture. When a nigga did the interview for his sneaker collab, what he what he was with Adidas, Pumas, one of them motherfuckers. He he did an interview about his sneaker collab and he was saying how, um, I guess if you do hip hop, you supposed to rock out for black people. Nah, nigga, rock out because you want to rock out, not because you in hip hop. To me. That was more offensive than you saying you don't fuck with niggas, if you ask me. Don't say you fuck with us just because you want us to listen to your music, nigga. Like, nah, we not doing that. What what fucking question did they ask him to get him to say some shit like that? They asked they asked him about, like, the, the Black Lives Movement, all that type of shit. And he was saying, like, you know, if, if you doing hip-hop, I guess you supposed to be rocking for, like, the black community. Nah, Slime, like... That was to me. That was out of pocket. Like you shouldn't even have said that shit. I would have rather nah. you been like, nah. Like I don't really bang with y'all niggas like that. Just listen to my music and shut the fuck up. I would have respected you more for saying that. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna keep it a bit. I would respect you more if you said that versus, oh yeah, I do. I do black music, so I guess I rock with y'all niggas. Like, nah, slime. We ain't doing that. 
So fuck you, Jack Harlow, culture vulture ass nigga. In case you happen to be listening. Yeah. Just I said what we learned is fuck you, Jack Harlow, and that logic. If you a zebra, is what you look like. So logic is white. That's what we going with yeah, from your right. What you got, Sav? That you have, I know like, you don't do pimp That nigga meat, definitely so. look like a science teacher for sure. <laughs> His name is Logic. He do look like a science teacher for sure. Facts. He we could definitely no... be the new Bill Nye for sure. <laughs> Yo, not Bill Nye. Fuck. You don't got you don't got no white dudes you fuck with, Sav? Um. I mean, he said Eminem. I fuck with Yellow Wolf too. Uh, I really don't even know no fucking white artists. I'm not even gonna sit here and act like I do. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I know some of them motherfuckers. I just they music just don't resonate like to me. I don't you know, know what I mean? Like everybody was. What's the ball? What's what's the ball? Baby Ghostface. What's the nigga name? Everybody was saying that he. Oh, was, uh, was Bronson. Like, yeah, everybody was saying how how crazy his bars was and all that, and I'm listening outside of the joint. He uh, uh, what is it called, Baby Blue or some shit like that? That's the only song I've ever heard from a nigga that I actually like. I don't know none and of his music. It's not even I, his verse that I like on the motherfucker. I don't know <laughs> I don't none of his music. It. I I fuck with him strictly off the uh, cooking show, that little food show he had for a minute. That, uh, fucking delicious. Yeah, fuck that's delicious. That shit was hilarious. I used to love that shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know no music. Uh, He's that nigga. Yeah. Yeah. I think the only hip hop. I've listened. See, that's the thing, man. I've listened to a lot of these motherfuckers just to, just so I could say like, all right, if I fuck with them or I don't. And it's like a lot Maybe of I'm music. Playing, mm, I'm putting Marky Mark, Mark, Mark on my list. Stop playing. Yo, don't disrespect <laughs> that nigga like that. Call that nigga what? Mark Wahlberg like the rest of them. <laughs> Marky Mark. <laughs> Yo, the only nigga, it's funny how that nigga he re- tries so hard to erase the fact that he was Marky Mark though he will not say that shit at oh, the fuck God. all like Marky Mark and yeah. his brother was a uh, was a Backstreet Boy or something what was Donnie what group New was kids Donnie on the block. Those kids on the block whatever they all the same they all look the same to me <laughs> I didn't even know that shit that's the name they st- look they started Back the that- bullshit the fact that Flan knew that shit is crazy. <laughs> That's fucked up. Hey, but did you know Donnie was the uh the little crazy white kid in uh, the Sixth Sense, the one that shot uh whatever his name, Bruce Willis? That was Donnie yeah, Wahlberg. I ain't I didn't know that till the other day. He had to lose a lot of weight for that role. But yeah, anyway, I think the only hip hop one I say I would fuck with is uh is Eminem. But outside of that, it'd be like Robin Thicke. I'm a big Robin Thicke fan. Uh, that nigga this name dude, out of pocket too. There we go. Oh my Boys, god. Nigga. Whatever. Uh, Justin Timberlake. Fuck oh, with yeah. JT. Oh, so I thought we was talking hip hop, nigga. Oh, I'm All right. Right. We, so we talking all the hip hop. I said any genre. I said oh, any genre. Oh, you did genre. say hip hop. See, I didn't even hear that. I didn't even hear you that. You did say that. My bad. You know what I'm All right, so Michael right, so Jackson. So delayed. A, a word? We doing that now? No, doing don't do that. that. Hey, yo, don't do that. Don't disrespect don't MJ do like that. that bro. Come on, son. What? Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. And he so was a I white woman. So if I anything. can't name a white woman. Boy? <laughs> really? He was a white. He was a white woman. If anything, you can't so, put him in the white dude category. So you could switch it up and say we you do all genres, but when I name a I white like, woman, it's a problem. All genres of men, not women. All right. I mean, before he turned into a woman, he still ah, became Jesus. white, and then he became a woman. So oh, early, early Michael Jackson. How about that? <laughs> Big nose, effort. No, after that, like, like Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, not like Mike. Like, like yeah. beat it. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> It's too much work to talk to this nigga. It's too much fucking work. Nigga. You got to think all the time. I be trying to chill. I, me personally, I don't give a fuck. I don't give, I'm gonna say it anyway. Uh, um, but no. So I'm with you, Robin. Said, hold on. What's the ball? Uh, what you gonna do for love? That nigga had everybody fooled. Thought he was a nigga. Oh yeah. I don't, I can't think of his name, but we know you talking about. Everybody thinking he was a nigga. Like that shit was crazy. Oh, John B. Nah, uh, no, the but, old school uh, John. John, John. Yo, so let me ask you Niggas a question. Niggas thought right? he was light skinned for a long, long time. Yeah, they really did. They really did. 
But his oh, his first album was the only album worth listening to, in my opinion. Am I the only one that's wrong that feel that way? I wasn't. I that wasn't was listening to John B. outside of some New Jack it. City type shit. Yeah, most niggas for, didn't even know he made music after his first album. Yeah. Like, all the rest of his shit was Garbaggio. <laughs> I don't think I even heard the whole album. The first album? You tripping. That joint go crazy start to finish. Like, I don't know. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That John and all that John was crazy. Raw says you sit back late. sipping listening to John B. Yo, that's crazy. Just, that first album go crazy. Listen, I I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Motherfucker may not think it or know it. I fuck with R and B real heavy. I actually I probably listen to more R and B than I listen to hip hop. And I listen to a lot of hip hop. Oh. Like real shit. So All right, okay. Savage JT. We got Rob Dick. Whoa, whoa. We got JT. Oh, nigga, what the fuck? That's supposed to be <laughs> like. You like you like the Grinch that grew a heart or some shit, nigga. I, yo, I, didn't, know, oh I didn't know you had feelings, nigga. I, I'm yo. confused. Yo, Rob Dick JT. Get around this cat. Um. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I think. Who else is there? I don't know. David Bowie. I fuck with David Bowie. <sighs> I like Steven Tyler. There we go. See, we getting somewhere now. Mm. I heard. I know them names. I don't know none of them niggas' music though. <laughs> oh man, David Bowie been sampled in so many hip hop joints. It's, that, it don't make yeah, sense. Yeah, I, Absolutely. I know the nigga name. Elton John. Yeah. All right. Tootie, tootie Fruity. <laughs> Holy shit. He owned that my shit. My bad, Flam. Ah. I ain't trying to get you canceled, Slime. Ah. Like, you know what I mean? The Beatles. I don't know about listening to this show anyway. One of my yeah. favorite groups. <laughs> one of my favorite groups, the Beatles. The, one of your favorite groups is the Beatles? I'm learning Absolutely. a lot about Absolutely. Savagely Humble today. Nigga, I used to. Don't worry about it. What's your Absolutely. favorite Beatles track, Sav? Um, hey Jude. Uh, is it Hello? I think it's Hello. And it's another one, but I had to look at my phone. But yeah, for sure. So I have rock with the Beatles. Did, did you notice it as her brother? Did you notice rock? Not at all. <laughs> as her twin. And I'm surprised. So now I gotta play some Beatles shit on the morning show. It is what it is. Nah, We're gonna do a whole know episode that. dedicated to the Beatles. Me learning the niggas music because I don't know no. none of that shit. We not gonna, We ain't gotta do it. I know. All I know is them niggas is from the Partridge Family era. That's all the fuck I know. <laughs> niggas made all Partridge Family music. Like that's all I know about the niggas. Like, yeah, I, I used to rock with the uh, the Monkeys. They had that little TV show for a while. Uh, Y'all yeah. remember that shit? They the Monkeys. Hey, Slam. Here's Yo. a question I've been I've been meaning to ask you. Oh shit. What is your favorite song of all time? Oh, that's because I'm that's thinking about all the music that you play. I'm thinking about the artists that you listen to, but I know you you also listen to like crazy shit from time to time too. And you you a super in love ass nigga. So <laughs> what is your <laughs> what is your all time favorite song? Don't matter the genre, just your favorite song of all time. So this this got me in trouble just this week. When somebody asked me my friend, they was asking specifically R and B, but I'm probably gonna still stick with this one. You know, it's difficult to say what your favorite song is, but if you ask me right in this moment, it's an artist named Eric Robertson. He's from DC, and he made two songs called "Couldn't Hear Her" and then "Couldn't Hear Me." And them two, you gotta play them together. Cause I can't pick one. You gotta play them back to back. And them two joints is like my favorite. I could listen to that on repeat. Yeah, the R and B song. They R and B song. One is about. The girl not being able to hear, no, he couldn't hear her over the music or something. And then the other one is she couldn't hear him over the music. It's a whole story about a relationship and how him being an artist fucked up the relationship and everything. I fucks with that. And they got like a 10 minute guitar solo at the end of the shit. I done seen the dude perform that joint hanging upside down so, from so monkey it's bars one and all kinds song of shit. With a 10 minute guitar solo at the end of the song. I mean, guitar solos is necessary. So the song like 20 minutes long. <laughs> this is a long ass song, but it's a it's a vibe. We talked about this. That like, shit is like a TV episode, one song. It's a it's a fucking vibe. It's a vibe. You gotta just chill somewhere, put it on. If you gotta cry, cry. I know you don't do that, raw. Sometimes you know you gotta get shit out. Pause. I've cried. 
pause, nigga. I cried a few times in my damn because I cried, nigga. What? Uh, that was for me, nigga. That was that for was me. For himself. He paused say, himself. Wait a minute, like the <laughs> fuck. <laughs> he paused himself. What you what, what you cry about? You scuffed your Tims or something? Like what? What got you to cry? <laughs> yo. Y'all niggas in these Tims <laughs> shit, yo. This is bananas. Like <laughs> you lost yo. your favorite hat, nigga. What happened? You lost Who your favorite you, hat. Y'all? What did I cry for recently? Uh, when that TV broke? Hell yeah. I wanted to. I ain't gonna hold you. I definitely wanted to because that shit pissed me off, son. That, that shit TV definitely broke. pissed me he, off. He called me like, and, you ain't gonna believe this shit. Yo, yo, that shit had me hot as fish grease. I ain't even gonna hold you. like. But I definitely didn't cry over that. But that shit definitely had me hot, though, for sure, for sure. And if I gotta spend some bread, like bread, bread, to either get it fixed or get a new TV, I'm definitely gonna be hot. I'm a, I'm a fuck this TV up. If I gotta buy another TV, I'm gonna fuck this TV up for sure. I'm gonna make this shit worth it. Yeah, right. you know how they got those rooms where you could just go break shit. I'm gonna find a space and I'm gonna just fuck this TV up. I'm, I sure, would think. Sure. I would think being from Philly, everything in there looked like it's been fucked up already. So you should just be able to go outside. <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't need no room or nothing, Nick. Like, just go outside. (laughs) It's going to fit right in. Yo, the love I get around this camp. Like, damn, man. God. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Have y'all been to Philly recently? It looked like some shit got fucked up over there. What the fuck they got to do with inside of my establishment where I slay my head, son? Well, then take this shit outside. And then just Nigga, fuck I'm it not up even in the street. In Philly. I, I'm in a, in a worse place. Hey, to be honest. Pittsburgh, the same fucking way. It's the same. Ain't shit Yo, over there either. It's not the same <laughs> at all. It definitely ain't shit here, but it's not the same at all. Oh, this shit is, shit. I swear, I feel like I'm in a country out this motherfucker. This shit is bananas. I ain't even nah, worried. I'm in the country. Nah, this shit feel like this shit feel like when I was fucking in Vermont. <laughs> like this shit woozy as fuck. Ain't nothing but hills. This shit is horrible on brakes and goddamn uh, transmissions brakes. for sure. <laughs> brakes and transmissions. This shit is and horrible because everything is you either going up a winding hill or you coming down a winding hill. Like this shit is bananas out here. Like I don't like it. Like, don't want some John B and go look at the stars, nigga. Like just and have go. a good cry. Have I a good do that cry. every night. Yeah. Right, you Listen. mentioned the morning show. So for the people who don't know, Opulence Radio is coming back. Y'all want to talk about what uh what we got going on over at Opulent? After you finish lighting your cigarette? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Whenever you're ready, on it. Fuck you, Flan. How about that shit, man? <laughs> I, I, I ain't show up for all your bullshit tonight, son. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know what you meant to say was, I miss talking to you, Flan. It's been a while since we chopped it up, man. This is not as nah, you feel at Nah, I home. said exactly what I said. Fuck you, little nigga. I know what I, I heard. I knew exactly what the fuck I said. I heard what right. you heard too, Flay. It's cool, young. Yeah. It's cool. Fuck you too with your little no neck having that. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? It is what it is. All right, Opulence Radio. Opulence Radio is about to be what Sirius XM is supposed to be. It's about oh, to be a, nut, a lot of dope music, hip hop, R and B, underground, mainstream. It's about to be a lot of dope ass conversations. Opulence Radio is about to be the new wave. We are about to take over and do what everybody wished that they could do. This shit about to definitely take the fuck over. So if you haven't downloaded the app yet, shoot off your pinky toe. <laughs> Just say. If you don't need opulence, you don't need your pinky toe. Because your equilibrium fucked up. I'm just saying. All right, so what we I know the I know the happy hour is coming back for all the people that missed that show. I know I missed it. Happy hour is coming back. Sav, y'all doing it? So are you officially an official? Hour, happy hour is definitely about to be two hours. So that shit really gonna be crazy now. That shit really about to be crazy now. So are you an official official co-host of the morning show now? Is this what we doing? You not it's just that a, nigga over there no more. It's a conjoint merger. Because I was doing my show and then he was coming on later on in the day. So we like, fuck it, why don't we just do something together? And so it'll be now, the whole part of the day. 
We about to have the first four hours of your morning if you're on the East Coast. For sugar day. 8 a.m. Right. to noon. It's the Savagely Raw Morning Show. It's going the fuck down. You don't know oh what God. the fuck's going to happen. All you know is you're going to wake up to some fuckery every morning. Just every know that morning. shit. So y'all niggas out for four hours. That's what we doing. Y'all not playing at all. Oh, yeah. We, we like you said, we trying to make it, if not the same level as serious, better. So I think we, Yeah, we definitely could do better. We could, we do, could better. do that. Could you do know better. what I'm saying? So you got to have those shows with that length. You you have to have those guests. You have to have those conversations. Oh, play. I thought about it when you hit the button. I said, okay. Listen, because she said it, it was like, all right, you know, it is what it is. But I'm with you, Swell. But anyway, um, that time span, if you will, you know, and just do something. And who better than us to fucking. Special Man, aid kids. I could you think know. of some people, but you know it's cool. It's, it is what it is. Oh, Listen, this, I don't. I don't, I don't think be, you can, but it's okay. This might <laughs> end up being your best episode this fucking season, this Ooh. year, whatever you want to call it. Because you got the twin and them's on this motherfucker. I got Phil and yeah. in the building. Uh-huh. All right, we going we gonna get out of here. Uh, tell the folks where they can find you if they don't already know. Before I cut you off, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> niggas always want to kick you the fuck out, don't they? These my people, man. These my people. I fucks with them, so I can say this type of shit. You can't, if you're listening, don't think you can say some out of pocket shit about Raw or Sav right. in my presence and it's going to be cool, but I can say Absolutely. The fuck out. The fuck? Go ahead. I'm sorry. My bad. Whoever. Um, you can find me on all social media platforms. It's a Hard Now Life podcast. Um, all streaming platforms as well. Don't look for my personal. Have a good night. Yo. <laughs> I don't do personal motherfucking social media. I don't believe in that shit. I think y'all motherfuckers be going way too crazy. I don't care about what you did every fucking five minutes. <laughs> just because you bored as shit, stop posting. Oh, I just fried some chicken. Oh, the chicken grease spilled on the on the stove. Oh, I just wiped it up. Nigga, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> Real <Right>. shit. <laughs> We're tired of scrolling through your social media and we see what you did every 36 seconds. We'll sit your bored ass down. And break your thumbs, goddammit. Something needs to happen. <laughs> just say it. Break it. What? <laughs> you can find me all on the table, all streaming platforms, all social media networks. I'm everywhere and nowhere at the same motherfucking time. It goes the fuck down. Bomb. Bomb. Whatever. Bomb. This nigga is so fucking predictable. Anyway, uh, that's all the fuck I got. I ain't had nothing to talk about when it started, and somehow we filled up with like 45 minutes, so that's cool. But uh, so I do have, it. check check out the, uh, the merch store, because there is some all on the table and happy hour merch in the merch store now. Go check that out, in addition to, you know, all the other wonderful stuff that I have. Sam Help got him take things. Jeff Elise, which is the best part of his show, to Disney World. I don't know if we're doing that no more. I don't know. I don't know. Oh man. Me and Chef Elise. I, anyway, she good. We good. We good. <laughs> we'll fix it. Hey, hold up. Right Chef Elise and her husband and her sister wife to Disney World. Wait, what? She yes. got a husband and a sister wife. And, and a sister, sister wife. wife. And a sister wife. <laughs> and she cool with it. Like, nigga, and she cool with it. Yo. Like, no, this, this can't be where we start, man. This can't be the starting point. It only gets worse from here. But. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Good night. I feel like, <clears throat> but yeah, check out the merch store. Get your happy hour merch. Get your all on the table merch. Get your what is TWS merch. All that good stuff. And until we speak again, y'all be easy, be the light, be safe, all that good shit. And know this, if you know nothing else, these my homies, and I fucking love you. Holla. Last call for alcohol. <laughs> yeah. If this is it, like if, if this is the last joint, if this is the last rough, it's the last call for alcohol, baby. 
gotta say whether you knew it or not It's pretty much at the finest, the finest bar establishment The finest spirits and libations y'all could've had, baby You might realize it now, you might have realized it back then You might realize it later Love